he bred 58, 59 mares at 25,000. You know, the, the yearling sold well enough in September, but we were concerned about getting enough mares to him at, at whatever the fee would be. So in the fall, we decided to go ahead and cut his fee in half, make him extremely popular again, and hope they ran, and it's worked. So he's had, had a tremendous year so far. I think he had two winners yesterday for that matter. You know, the response actually was good, not great until they started running this spring. And he's done exactly what we thought he would do. It's taken people a little bit longer to probably sort out what blames are. And I think they probably rushed some of them early and probably didn't do them any good. And as they've been more patient with them, as they've gotten older, they've done well and they, they run on dirt and turf. And there's several of them in France right now in England and Ireland, as well as the ones here. So, so far so good. And the 12.5 has been well received and he's full. And he's got 115, 20 mares right now. When he first came in, he was extremely popular. Obviously, he'd won the Breeders' Cup Classic, and we've been able to pick and choose through the mares. I would tell you he started out well, but not probably great. It's just taken him a while to, to catch on and probably get the numbers out there and people figure out what to do with them. Each Monday, you can tell what kind of weekend he's had. There's a number of calls, and this time of year, it's, you know, in, into April 1st of May. A lot of people are calling with late mares, oh, I'd love to breed to blame. He's probably a good cross between Arch and Seeking the Gold. He's very attractive, good size. I wouldn't tell you he's a heavy horse. Uh, good bone, correct, balanced. Winners is what sells them. I don't think it matters whether it's dirt or turf. 